Now, flood waters have started receding in parts of flood ravaged Assam, but there's no end to the misery of those people who live near the banks of the Brahmaputra. The river has literally swallowed up their homes. An RTI has revealed on paper nearly 11,000 crores have been spent, but on the ground, flood control measures seem grossly inadequate. The BJP has demanded a white paper. Here's a special report. 53-year-old Vishnu Gwala's life changed in less than 60 minutes. The flooding Brahmaputra washed away his home and his land. Floods as an annual ritual in Assam is perhaps well known. But what is less well known is this, the problem of erosion. People on the banks of Brahmaputra living under constant fear, not sure when the mighty river will swallow up their fields, their land, and their homes. At Boguri Tolia village in Upper Assam's Dibrugar district, seven families have lost everything their cattle, their crop, and their homes. Akshay Maji, a daily wage laborer, can barely hold back his emotions as he shows us his flood ravaged fields. <laughs> Every year, 8,000 hectares of fertile land gets eroded. And since 1950, the Assam government says, 4.27 lakh hectares have been lost to floods and erosion. An RTI query revealed between 2005 and 2011, nearly 11,000 crores were spent on flood relief and rehabilitation of victims. Measures on the ground seem grossly inadequate. Union Minister Sonowal, who is from Dibrugarh, has now demanded a white paper on the use of funds. This is the constitutional duty of a state government. Whatever your money you have received from the centre and where, how you have spent it. That is to be you know, known to the people of this state. The Congress in turn has accused the BJP of politicising the floods. The CAG every, every year they ask for the utilization of the uh, UC certificate, mm -hmm. utilization certificate. If there is any doubt uh, from the side of the central government, they can ask any clarification from the state government. Villagers say the local administration has given them rations for a few weeks and promised to rebuild their homes. Until then, people are trying their best to salvage what is left of their present. Indi Brugger with Sanjoy Chakravarti, Sandeep Pukan, NDTV.